two DIY projects that I recently completed for my daughter's 21st birthday. I hope you enjoy. Now to start with, I'm gonna create a DIY boho inspired card box. Now I have this box guys, this is the box that my Chanel tea set came in. And what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm taking a ruler and I'm going to trace out a top, which we will then cut out to make the slot for where the cards go in. Now you can see here that there is a line in the design of the box at the top. I'm using that as a guide and I'm going about two and a half centimeters across to start the top of the slot. Now once it was all traced out, what we're going to do is cut it out. Now on this particular day guys, I was very time poor and I couldn't seem to find my craft knife. So I'm actually using scissors here, but if you have that knife, it would be so much easier. Here I've just gone over it again so I could see it properly before I started cutting. out I'm going to remove the cardboard and what I'm going to do now guys is take the box outside and give it two coats of this beautiful gold spray paint now while that was drying I then went to Pinterest and I found this boho inspired image and I printed it out and what I'm doing here is to, I'm just cutting out the outline guys so it was all white with nothing in the background dry it was now time to go in and decorate it now guys I went to my craft stash and I had some of this dollar store burlap and lace so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to glue that around the very middle of the box that thank you image and we're going to hot glue that to the front. Now sticking with the boho theme, I took these dollar store flowers and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them at the top left hand corner as well as the bottom right hand corner. Now 
also had some of these dollar store feathers and they had little gold tips at the top. I also added them to the flowers. Now I also had some more of that burlap and lace guys and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue it over the top of the slot. Now off camera what I did here guys is using the hole as a guide I cut out another hole. Also in my craft stash I had these Kmart wooden letters and I hot glued the letters to the top to spell out the word cards. Now I also had a beaded garland and what I did here guys is I hot glued it to the top right hand side. Now I was going to use this orange flower and glue it into the centre but I actually changed my mind and used a white flower instead. Now I'm going to start on my second DIY which is a balloon garland. My daughter found this balloon garland kit off eBay and here are all the balloons. It also comes with the string to attach the balloons as well as some balloon glue. Now I purchased two balloon pumps just from Kmart guys. Now the kit didn't come with red balloons. My daughter wanted to add red as well so I just picked up a few from Kmart. Now we did want to use guys an air compressor here but I'm Unfortunately, the air compressor didn't have the right fitting for the balloons. So if you don't want to use the hand pump, I recommend the air compressor. Now here I'm showing you, this is the chain that comes with the kit. Now it's got holes in it and off camera we blew up all the balloons. And what my hubby is doing here is we're taking each end of the balloon and just attaching them inside the holes. Now once we got the balloons to the venue, we actually just put this whole garland in our car guides and drove to the venue and then put it up onto the mesh. Now we just used some dollar store cable ties and I absolutely love how it came. Now the key is with a balloon garland, you take some of that balloon glue and see the little white balloons guys, you just attach it to the side of the balloon and stick it up against another balloon and that's how you fill in the gaps. my little DIY gift box and I was so happy with how this was set up. This was before we bought out the cake but I loved the little fairy lights in the back and the really rustic boho feel about it. Daughter's 21st was an absolute hit guys. We had so much fun. We created so many wonderful memories with family and friends and it really was a wonderful time to get together. Considering with COVID guys, we haven't been all in the same room together for a very, very long time. And here I am in front of the garland. It was the first time I had dressed up in a long time guys and it felt really good. If you have a special event coming up guys, I definitely recommend having a go at a DIY. Now if you're going to do the balloon garland, I definitely recommend doing what my hubby and I did. The night before the party, we actually made the garland ourselves. And bear in mind that you have to have a car big enough, but we did it the night before and then put the garland in the car the following day and drove it to the venue. And this turned out to be the best decision we ever made. 
thank you so much for watching guys I truly hope you've enjoyed this video I hope I've inspired you to have a go at some DIYs if you have a special event coming up don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel because I'll be back real soon with more DIY projects inspirational ideas and room tours here at Shell's Glam Home So until next time, my friends, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.